السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Just very quickly, brothers and sisters, Brother Maizan Beg reminds me of a saying that's been attributed to Ali radiallahu an, where he said that be like the flower that leaves its fragrance to the hand that crushes it. And wallahi, when I met Maizan Beg seven or eight years ago, he reminded me of that kind of character. He was crushed by the Americans. He's crushed by this government, but his fragrance is everywhere. And that's the fragrance. That is the fragrance of haq, of truth. It's the fragrance of justice. It's the fragrance of unity. And no matter what they do, uqsum billah, by Allah, the one that created the entire cosmos, there'll be millions of words of this. Look me up, look him up, look everyone up. We're here because we're here because of God's mercy on the whole of the world. Allah is our Rahman. He is the merciful and he sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a rahmah, as a compassion for the whole of the world. And we're not here today as victims. We're not here today as demonstrators. Wallahi, we are here as teachers. We need to teach these people. We need to teach these people about justice. As Allah says in the Quran, in Allah yuhibbul muqsiteen. Allah loves the just. Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu qunu qawwameena lillahi shuhadaa bil qist. Oh, you have believed. Be steadfast witnesses in justice for Allah. And do not let the hatred of others make you swerve from justice. Be just. That's closer to God consciousness. We need to teach these people out of mercy. Because when we have the Islamic principles in place, yes, Sharia law, not the Sharia law in Sky News or Fox News, the true Sharia law, when the Jews, they saw us as liberators from persecution, as Zion Zohar, an academic says, thus, when the Muslims crossed the Straits of Gibraltar in the Iberian Peninsula, the Jews saw the Muslims as liberators from persecution. Brothers and sisters and friends, we are here as teachers. We need to teach them the true concept of justice. And we are here to remind them that this war and terror is chasing a phantom. It's chasing a ghost. More people die in this country because they can't pay the winter bills. More people die in this country because of infant mortality, because of poverty. In America, more people die because of dog bites and terrorism. I don't see a war on canines. Brothers and sisters, Friends, we need to teach these people that they're true terrorists. Yes, we disagree with terrorism. We've told Uncle Tom many times. Wallahi by Allah, the true terrorism is capitalism in my opinion. It kills far more people because of injustice. In Africa alone in 2003, 10.6 million children died because of no food. Why is my son? Zakaria any different from an African child? It's because this is what happens when you implement more laws that come from a shoddy basis, that all come from the divine reality, that come from the limited mind. Wake up, people! Wallahi, wake up! Because if you don't stand for something, as Malcolm X said, you're going to fall for everything. Yeah, you Oh, you have believed, respond to the call of Allah and His Messenger, to that which gives you life, people. Don't be a dead human walking, respond to this call. And I want to see you calling for this all the time. Get off your Facebook and your Twitter for wrong reasons. Get off the TV, get off the kebabs and the shishas and the coffee shops. Now is the time for sacrifice, people. If you don't do it now, who's going to do it? Now I'll bless you.